What's up, crew members? Welcome back to another video. Today, y'all, we're gonna be making the spaghetti stuff, garlic bread. Y'all, I saw this on TikTok, and of course, your boy had to make it. So I'm just starting off with some diced yellow onion, y'all. Um, we're gonna brown these up um, to get my spaghetti going. Now, this is uh, gonna be a quick and easy spaghetti. I do have a spaghetti recipe where I make it from scratch. I can link that if I want, if you want me to. But today, we're gonna be doing a quicker, easier spaghetti that's gonna be just as flavorful. So after I get my onions to the browning that I want to, I'm gonna go in with a pound of lean ground beef. That's lean ground beef. And then I'm gonna go in with some Jimmy Dean hot sausage. I know some of y'all may consider this a breakfast sausage and not like an Italian sausage, but I don't want to use Italian sausage because I just don't care for the flavor. But this is works good in here and it's not going to take away from the flavor at all. As a matter of fact, it's going to be even more fire. So after I took that out of the pack and I got it in there, yes, I did use my hands because it's for me and my wife and she don't mind. I did wash my hands after I touched the raw meat though. And then I'm just going to break that up uh, in the pot. Once it's halfway brown, I'm going to go in with a little bit of this garlic and herb uh, no salt seasoning from Kinder's and some no salt uh, onion herb from Mrs. Dash just because I don't need any extra salt it's gonna be I just like the salt to taste at the end I'm not gonna over season this meat because the pasta sauces that I'm using are pretty flavorful and I don't want to do too much that's just me once I got that where I want to I'm gonna go in with this Angelo's marinara sauce and the Rayo's um, tomato and basil I'm gonna use the whole jar of the tomato and basil uh, pasta sauce, and I'm gonna go in with half the jar of the marinara. These are two of my favorite brands um, because they just good. The Rayos can be expensive though, so it's just whenever you feel like you got it, you know what I'm saying? And then the only thing I really added to this was a little bit, a little bit of salt, and I added some more basil because I really like basil flavor. Now this video is for y'all who really like to break your noodles. I never really like to do that because I like my noodles long. But for this particular recipe, we're gonna be stuffing the noodles. So I got these Muller's uh, pot-sized spaghetti noodles that I'm using, they're just half noodles and it's still a pound of them. I boiled them up and um, you know, we're gonna use those and it's thin spaghetti. So the thin spaghetti is not really a lot thinner than the regular, but it eats a little better for this recipe. Then I got my Italian loaf that I split in half, and then I'm gonna take my bread knife and go and cut a box out. Make sure you hit the bottom, hit that bottom with that knife and get all that, gut that bread on out just like that, but leave a little bit on the side of the walls just so that, you know what I'm saying, you got a little bit to work with and it don't flims up on you. Then I'm gonna take my noodles that I cooked um, pretty much done. Uh, I turned my uh, pot of my sauce off, mixed those noodles in there well. These are gonna mix around pretty good because like I said, they're half size, like when it, like as when you break them in half. And then um, they're, they're the thin spaghetti too, not angel hair, but thin spaghetti. And it's gonna mix up really good and make it easy for stuffing this garlic bread. All right, next step, I've got a pan and I'm gonna go in with um, some Kerrygold garlic and herb butter y'all i'm gonna melt this down this is some good butter man i mean uh, you can make your own but carry go got it going on now you take this i'm gonna melt it down and i'm gonna add just a couple ingredients to it to just make it better for this recipe and i'm gonna go in with some of that mrs dice the uh mrs dice onion herb onion herb because it's so good and then I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that Badia Ranch seasoning. And I'm gonna mix that in there real good. And um, I'm gonna apply that to my garlic bread on the inside and the outside. I do the inside first. You wanna see, you see that? Make sure it's just like that. Get it in there with the brush and make it yellow, real yellow. Then you're gonna take your pot of spaghetti and you're gonna get the stuffing little by little. Don't go too crazy. You know what I'm saying? Get you a couple little light spoonfuls, drop it in there, press it down a little bit. Then you can take you a little bit of mozzarella cheese. It's optional, but I mean, it's a big back recipe. You might as well go all the way. Put you some um, some more spaghetti. Keep stuffing till you got it all the way stuffed to the top. Stand it up in a bowl like this if you want to brown some cheese on top because, you know, otherwise it's gonna spill out and it ain't gonna really do right. I set it in a bowl, put it on my sheet pan, put it in the oven for a little bit until it melted. Then I put it on broil. Then I'm gonna take it back out. The bread's already semi-crispy. I put some more of that garlic and herb butter on there. Added some more of that Parmesan cheese up there. This is the finished result. Absolutely freaking delicious, y'all. Welcome back to 
to our channel. I'm AJ. This is Daniel. We're hashtag. 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 Hashtag the Cannons. CCTV. All right, crew members, welcome back to our eating show. Sure. Today, guys, we are back with another mook bond. Daniel, tell them what we're eating today, yeah. Y'all, today we got some spaghetti stuffed garlic bread with a little yeah. marinara. Yeah. <laughs> so, y'all, I saw this recipe. Well, I didn't see the recipe. I actually saw, I saw a few people eating it. The main person was, uh, was, uh, Kay. And, uh, I was like, I'm making it. And, <laughs> and I made it, so. Um, is this your very first time on this channel? Thank y'all for being here. We ask that you go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn on the notification bell. Set your notification to all so you'll be notified every single time the cannon drops some heat for that hour. Oh, yeah. Remember, remember, hit that like button, y'all. Remember, hashtag, bro, baby, bro. Hashtag, the cannons are on the road to 150,000 subscribers. And, uh, yeah, thank y'all for being here. New and returning members. We're going to go ahead and pray over this food, and then we're going to get into it. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Lord, we ask that it be nourished to our bodies. And bless those who are less fortunate. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Damn. So, y'all, today, I am, I got water on the side. And, uh, but, um, I'm going to be drinking. I got these from Harris Teeter. I tried the green tea one. I like it. They're not really that, there's zero sugar. And they sweeten it with mock fruit. Um. And I tried the green tea one and I liked it, so I figured out I liked the flavor ones because the green tea one just tastes like green tea. And uh, this is the Raw Company tea. And um, so, yeah. I don't know if this one is green tea or what kind of tea it is, but the other one was just green tea. Mm -hmm. But anyway. Uh, and they had different flavors too, didn't Yeah, they? so this is the lemon one. I got the raspberry one in the refrigerator and I had the, I had the green tea one. And I think they got a... Uh, is it peach? No. Peach. Peach. I figured that would be the one if I didn't like them, I at least like them, so I didn't get them. Because I wasn't sure. But, uh, yeah. Alright, yeah. uh -uh. Bit in the try. What is all just smacking? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's alright. If you don't like stuff that ain't super sweet, Oh, that's what it all don't do it. Because you ain't gonna like it. So, damn, don't do it. it it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I like sugar. Oh, well, so y'all got a little bit of marinara sauce. Yeah, we just ready. I'm just gonna bite it. Yeah, that's what I, I got a little. Y'all saw how I made it. I'm scared. Oh, uh. Look at that. Look at that. I'm gonna give y'all a bite. I'm gonna give y'all a bite first. <laughs> y'all can have a little bite first. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's big too, mm -hmm. This is good. Mm -hmm. I like it. This is so <laughs> good. It's fat. Hmm? It's fat. Yes. But it's good. As the folks say, big back. <laughs> we are a day late on my video, on our video, because I was a tad bit under the weather. Mm -hmm. Something got me, I don't know what it was, mm -hmm. but it had me all in here first. Y'all probably heard it on my last video. Y'all probably saw me, like, probably starting to feel it, because that was my head, my allergies were bothering me. I thought that's all it was at first. Then it drained down. I felt like my lymph nodes was starting to swell a little bit. I felt like I might be getting a sore throat, but I never got a sore throat. And right when I thought this was clearing up, it started getting in my chest. In my chest, I got started getting congestion. And then two days ago, I was coughing so bad. I coughed all day. And then you'll tell you it was all day. Yeah. I think we she was having her own issues that day, and I was having mine. So we both was going through the whole day. <laughs> And then yesterday, I definitely wasn't about to record. Mm -hmm. I was feeling really congested. <clears throat> I was like, and it was just coughing, and it just, you know, so I had to 
take care have take care of that. Mm-hmm. We have to take care of home first, but we back today. I'm feeling a little better. And, you know, and I made this and this and this is definitely um I might be a big boy and y'all yeah. might say I don't need it, but I show no deserve. I, I ain't ate really in a couple of days like I wanted to. And so. I can't see my abs, but they showing up sore from coffee. <laughs> mm. But, I think I got tested. They said it wasn't the flu or COVID, which I didn't feel like I was sick like that. I thought it was just sinuses anyway. I thought something, whatever, I might have breathed something in, because mm-hmm. I have, my family has a real bad history of allergies and sinus issues, and I thought it just was happening that way, mm-hmm. and I just thought the drainage just went, but, you know, I went, they tested me fluid covered, which they said no. And I was like, I haven't been feeling feverish. That day I coughed all day. And it was starting to get in there. I did start to feel a little achy, but I didn't really feel like I had a fever. But then when I was telling the doctor that, she was like, well, she was like, she had got my vitals. And she was like, well, you do got a little low grade fever. Mm-hmm. And I had looked over my vitals, but I didn't even notice that it said it was 99.4, which isn't like terrible, but it wasn't. I said, you know what? I said, but I don't really feel like I'm sick, sick, but mm-hmm. you know, so the, the lady told me that. It just might be like a virus, you know, because in case y'all don't know, you know, common cold and there's other viruses out there besides the flu. The main ones that we know, those are just considered, you know, just random viruses that ain't big enough really to have a name. They get you sick. I mean, you know, they just whatever, but she just prescribed some medication, told me to get some rest, and I've been doing it, <laughs> drinking my fluids. His water, water. Mm-hmm. Y'all, this is so good. It is. <laughs> Part of the reason I'm telling y'all the story and talking so much is so I don't attack it. <laughs> I've been biting while you talk. <laughs> you put a little mm. sauce up there. Mm-mm. Let me see. Mm. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Me some See how people use that left hand. What? <laughs> <laughs> Reggie Jean was talking about her left hand. Mm-mm. I hope you guys enjoyed your Valentine's with a M yesterday. Uh-huh. <laughs> Valentine's. With yeah, an M. Whatever you did, if you ain't do nothing, enjoy your Wednesday. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. I surprised you. He the post. <laughs> she got me a pair of uh, them primes. The new sunglasses from um, Coach Prime. And then she got me. <laughs> we got some. <laughs> she got me some drawers <laughs> with her face all over. <laughs> I told him before they even came. I was like, this gift you're probably going to laugh at. Because it is funny. Mm. And I think he didn't really know what it was. I, I mean, there ain't no telling. Right. And so, it came in the mail today and I had ordered some shoes from um, Shein too. So, I didn't say nothing at first. And he was like, is that your stuff from Shein? I was like, yeah. But she was smiling, so I knew. <laughs> but then, when the little package came, I said, oh, it came early. I wanted it to come yesterday, but it didn't. But it was coming from China, so I didn't expect it to. But anyway, it came, and I opened it up. And I had my back turned when I was looking at them, because I got underwear with his face on them. I might put the picture in here. <laughs> but anyway, I was so weak, because the pictures came out so well. Like, I didn't think they were going to come out that you well. Be like I did. Which I had saw people in the reviews saying, like, how they were surprised at it. That's why I picked that company. They feel good quality, too. Mm-hmm. Nice and soft. <laughs> and I said, here, he going to start grinning, talking about you a mess. I said, I got you twice. Keep over here trying to surprise me. 
Yeah, she over here trying to do all her get back. Cause I told her I didn't want nothing for Christmas and then I loaded her down, but she I did. I was like, don't you do that again. I did get him for his birthday though. I did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> I think I got one more bite in me yeah, and is. I need to stop. Let me see. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. Oh, cheese in this <laughs> so, today what I wanted to talk about is something that I talked about with you in the Zaxby's parking lot some weeks ago. And now, they actually had a verdict for it. It was that little boy, the Target worker, that uh, murdered his co-worker, y'all, off of a lunch. He thought the man stole his lunch. So, I'm going to try to get his rundown without it, uh seeming spacey and not making sense. But anyway, it said a former Target worker from Virginia has been sentenced to a century in prison for stabbing and beating his colleague who he man. accused of stealing his lunch. I thought he just beat the man to death. He stabbed no, him too. Yes. Yeah. Um, he was 25 years old. He threatened to kill and hurt more people unless he was given the harshest possible punishment. Sir. What? Yes, the honey. No, he said, throw me in yes. there. <laughs> I Lock want me up. Okay. Throw I want to be here. Um, so the Fairfax judge gave him 100 years, honey, with he 30 said, years suspended. My pleasure. Okay. Chick fil so, lay that ass. <laughs> <laughs> so he will spend the next 70 years behind bars. He was working at a Bailey's Crossroad Target in April 2021. He ambushed 15 year, 58 year old store janitor. Killed him with knives and a hammer that he bought from Target. And so they considered that first degree murder, of course. And he said that he was triggered by the janitor stealing his food in the office refrigerator on April 14th. So he said that he was upset about the theft and spent his next days plotting uh, this homicide. Uh, buys the hammer and the knives, like I just said, and leaving his shift. Uh, from Target and he contemplated or whatever and so the next day well not the next day so three days later on the 17th when they both have to work he is waiting in the parking lot for homeboy to come up he waits for him to get out of his car and ambushes him in the parking lot in front of everybody mm -mm. um yeah, and that's more and more but you told me about it yeah but see what I had then but was, I know I mean because you probably read what you thought or whatever I read off the shade room, so it wasn't like the actual. Right. He, they were just giving like a headline: a twenty-five-year-old mm -hmm. murders fifty-eight-year-old. See, I didn't justify it, but see, this is definitely premeditated. I thought it was more reaction. Like no, based. he thought about it. This is super. It's premeditated. sick, really, and so um, mm -hmm. kills him in the parking lot. Shorter time later, he comes back to because I guess he left the parking lot after mm -hmm. he killed the man. He left and then surrendered to the police officers who investigated the crime and um, he pleaded the first degree murder, of course. But I'm like, you needed to go talk to somebody because like you were talking about it in the car that him. day, for one, it wasn't that serious. And you said he's 25. He has now, he'll never see the light of day. You're not even, you haven't even lived the best parts of your life at 25. Mm -hmm. Like you will never, you'll never be see able success. to. You'll never know what it's like to, right. to make it out of anything. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? If you had ambition, go. Well, uh, uh, everything that I hope for yeah, is gone. gone now. It's gone, yeah. buried in the ground. Okay. Because you stupid. But re getting this whole story, he was a ticking time bomb. Mm -hmm. You know, to me, it sounds like he's psychotic, and it don't end there. If he said all that in court talking about some... Give me what you got for a pork chop. <laughs> or else I'm going to do worse. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know, it was only a matter of time before he hurt somebody. Right. And like I said before, whenever I heard the story, I thought that it was like, you know, he went in the refrigerator. Somebody had ate his food. Mm -hmm. it was, somebody had did it before a problem. This is what I was guessing. And he knew who it was. And he lost it. And I right. thought... I thought he beat the man to That's death. What I, I thought, thought he I thought he ran up on the man, mm -hmm. lost control, and beat him to death. Right. But you know what I'm saying? And in my in my opinion, I mean that didn't justify it. Mm -mm. But 
I think I, I would have felt not felt better, but it would have made more sense to me to this is the last straw. You know, like yeah, I, you know, you know how right. some people like because you're a human, right? And the human mind can be fragile with mm-hmm. some folks. Yes, some folks done been through some things and they are on their last. And it's mm-hmm. crazy to think about it. And whatever they do, it, it, it's not justified. You still there's consequences to your actions. Right. And if you take another person's life, you're gonna have to deal with that mm-hmm. in more ways than one. You're right. gonna have to pay you're gonna have to deal with it in your own mind. And you're gonna have to you gotta deal with the law. Mm-hmm. But I'm just like, um, you know, I can I can understand just off of understanding. I don't empathize with it, mm-hmm. but I can understand somebody just losing it like that and then, you know, something crazy and unfortunate and tragic happening. Right. And you know, that's why I say don't make it right and I didn't empathize with him or anything like that. Right. But I thought that's what happened. But yeah, uh, that's just what I knowing had too. that this is what happened, and you left, you thought about, and ain't no, ain't no lunch. Three days, right? Not a lunch. Ain't no lunchable worth. You know what I'm saying? Your freedom, really? No, because at that point you done ate again. You done, you done <laughs> Not whatever. You, you could have talked to the boss, told them yeah. they kept eating. You know what I'm saying? You went home. You was ready to do some damage to somebody. Mm-hmm. Eventually, for sure. You, you, his mind was already gone. Yeah. He already was snapped. He was waiting for the one thing to trigger him. And that lunch that day was, uh, I'm going to do it. He yep. said, I'm going to go through with it. But, yep. you know, it's kind of, it's really sad. And then you got somebody, I'm sure this man has children, a wife. You know, I don't know if he has a wife, but you've taken somebody away from their family for a lunch. For a lunch. These people will never get to see their dad again, their husband, their son. You know, you've taken a family member and it's really off of innocence. And then I'm like, do you even know if he actually took it? Right. He think he thought they never said whether he took it or not. He just thinks he took it. That's crazy. It is. It's insane. And it's it's really sad that you know what I'm saying this. You know this man got family. You know they. Mm-hmm. And it, it, I mean it's crazy. I mean, but the best thing you can do, off. I mean, uh, Mr. Judge, is what you did. Get him off them streets. Because, Give him I mean, what he yeah, wanted. At least he honest about it. Tell him. You right. You know what I'm saying? He a told lot you, of people. He already told you, like, uh, I'm crazy. Okay. <laughs> but, um, you know, at 25, hate it for you, brother, because you ain't going to see redemption for that. No. Even with, like, I don't even know if he got a possibility for parole. Probably for all, not. But even if, I mean, I mean, what? <laughs> Your life is a ruin. Yes. You know? And it's a shame that, you know, that's what he chose, but mm-hmm. you know, it, at the end of the day, it's better for society. Okay, you know, get him off these. These streets. are real criminals. Like I don't, I'm not a way. I'm not right. putting, you know, just anybody behind jail for any reason. Right. But if you're gonna put somebody in in jail for any reason, it's murder. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And then it's not like he shot the man. Right. Like you, I feel like you're a different kind of person when you take. Like physical, like you can feel hands a hammer. On. Yes, that's that's the word I'm looking for. When you hands on kill somebody or like choke them out or suffocate or something you like beat that, somebody with a hammer you and are a him, different type that is, of person. That is that is <laughs> that guttural. I don't want to be near. That is, no, you beat somebody and stab yeah, them. That is, gu- in, that is guttural. In the middle of the parking lot in the broad daylight, you just you're, did not. You're care. taking serious pleasure in this yes. because at the end of the day. And you know this is just a, a trigger warning or whatever warning if you got kids in the room because what well, I ain't about to say nothing crazy but I'm just saying like at the end of the day I feel like you want to feel the life leave yes. this person and yes. you want to feel like you know what I'm saying feel like you, like you get some kind of like satisfaction you them from out, it and that's just sick yeah, and it is. and demonic really right like you know what I'm saying like <laughs> you really need a you need Jesus in every in every sense okay. of the saying, and I mm-hmm. mean it. Like, Go lot. lay your body on the altar, lay your you mind, your heart, <laughs> everything. That's I just crazy. wanted to give you a little update on that. Yeah, but um, y'all, we done because I'm full, mm-hmm. and uh, I'm sure Daniel full because this is I did you make them kind of big. Jesus. Some people was cutting like the middle of the giant bread out, even though mine wasn't as big as some people. But I mean, I was like, I'm just gonna cut it in half. <laughs> <laughs> and so uh, it was good though. If you like garlic yes. bread and you like spaghetti, put them together. <laughs> Why not? Because <laughs> you know I've always kind of avoided like, even though when I eat spaghetti, I do sometimes put it on top. But I've kind of like avoided like spaghetti sandwiches and spaghetti yes. tacos because I feel like the noodle and the bread is like. <laughs> 
like <laughs> in the same family mm -hmm. almost. So I feel like what's the point? They both starchy. But I, shoot. Uh -uh. This right here Delicious. is a motherfucking winner winner chicken dinner. Uh uh. <laughs> All day. All right, y'all. We love you. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure you subscribe, like this video, drop a comment down below, let us know what you're thinking. Remember to share this video, share with everybody because sharing is caring. So care about us, care about us, y'all. We love you. We mean it, and we're gonna catch you on the next one. Shout out to the crew. Shout out to you. Y'all go over and follow us on TikTok. We about to oh, start yeah. posting up there. We're gonna drop the link in the description box, y'all. We also I'm gonna put it on the screen yet. So follow me too, cause I'm I'm about to get my channel up. It's uh it's it's J Cannon Cooks. I'm gonna post a lot of recipes that I already posted here on YouTube, but then I'm gonna start going live, doing live cooking on there, and then I'm gonna post some stuff like simple, like quick. So y'all looking for the ranch recipe? <laughs> y'all want like simple, quick little whatever, like little I'm gonna do a lot of that on TikTok, short videos, and then I um I hashtag the Cannons page. We're gonna put some stuff, some content from YouTube over there, but it's mostly gonna be us doing, you know, this, like we might be out. It's gonna be me and Danielle, we're gonna be doing uh, food reviews and, you know, snack reviews. Just having fun on that page, and we're gonna be going live a lot on that too. Right. So make sure you go follow our TikTok. We're gonna post it here, and put it on a community post, so y'all can follow us on TikTok. We're gonna be posting starting next week. Yes. So y'all make sure y'all follow us, y'all. Follow us on all platforms, under has, underscore hashtag the cannons on uh, Instagram too, because we're going to start posting over there. And on Facebook, I, I, right now, I'm not going to post to Facebook till I make sure everything is cool. Right. Because uh, it's I, some weird things going on. I, we I'm got trying, two pages. We got like two pages, <laughs> like doing something. But um, yeah, make sure y'all do that, y'all. I love you. And um, we appreciate all y'all. Yes. For real, for real. Have a good weekend. Have a good weekend. Bye bye. Peace.